Welcome back everybody and today we're painting our second Warhammer miniature and it is a Necron from the starter set and uh, first things first we assembled him and I did a little bit of a coffee base and stuck the little fella on and we're just priming him with a Badger Steinal Res black to begin with and then the idea is to try and do a bit of a zenithal highlight using of all things metal primer uh, to give him a metallic look from which then the idea was to put the colors over the top and uh, so we valiantly tried that and uh, sort of half worked uh, I think I was a little bit heavy-handed with the silver to be perfectly honest but uh, it sort of kind of is functional enough I then also just did a little bit of a an ink brown sort of stain on the base just uh, to give it a bit of a color uh, before I started. Now the idea here was to do something completely different. Everyone does the same old Necrons and I thought, ah, oh, bugger that, I want to be different. So what I wanted to do was actually, instead of having uh, the exposed components of the body being a grey, making them the lighter colour. And so what I was trying to do was I got uh, some uh, yellows, demonic and imp yellow, and mixed it with the zealot uh, speed paint from Army Paints, trying to actually produce some form of gold anodizing look. And so I mixed them up, tried it, applied it to the model, wasn't overly happy with the end results to be perfectly honest it just didn't seem to quite capture the look that I was hoping for there may be some product out there that can actually do it uh, but we thought we'd give this a go so we did a bit of a comparison between the lighter and the darker color mixed with the speed paint and obviously uh, those normal acrylics will be more opaque so you might not see the metallic through it uh, but I hoped by mixing it with the speed paint it would thin it down a little bit and you'd get a bit of the result and it sort of worked but it was probably a little bit too light for my liking so ultimately I did end up uh, changing how I approached that I did also try putting the uh, speed paint directly on and uh, it wasn't dark enough either in fact it was quite transparent so I just removed it before it had time to harden fortunately because it's speed paint 1.0 you can do that and okay color scheme uh, grabbed a couple of greens. Now what I was trying to get here was an olive type green. Uh, thus the uh, sort of kind of the, the option was to try and get a, a sort of a darkish tone uh, that would contrast well with the lighter color in reverse. Now unfortunately both the colors that I chose didn't really look olive at all uh, and they were just normal acrylics and so I opted for actually choosing to mix two of the speed paints, Camo Cloak and Malignant Green. And when combined, they provide more of an olive-like tone, as you can see on the palette. So when I applied that, it certainly looked a bit better. And I thought, well, a couple of coats of that might actually do the trick. And uh, that was giving me the effect that I was after. So upon adding everything to the little fella, he didn't look too bad. There was still a degree of metallic sort of look about him. And uh, I thought, okay, well, I just need to do the rest of the gold. And in this instance here, I did put on just some of the speed paint. And then I went over the top of that with a gold uh, from the armor paint, Army Painter uh, set. And uh, so greedy gold it was. And that at least gave me a bit of a brighter color that I was looking for. And he looked a little bit smarter that way. Uh, I then thought, well, I'll dress him up a little and stuck a white stripe on his head, just using plain white. And then for a little bit of weathering, just to color him up, I went with some Agrax Earthshade uh, all over most of the sort of the body components. And then it was move on to the weapon. Started with using Holy White on the nodes on the barrel and then tried to create a chromatic black so i mixed magnolia brown and absolution green and painted that on uh, but it wasn't actually working but putting a uh, cloudburst blue speed paint over the top created quite an effective sort of a dark black gray muddy color uh, that did the job and then i thought i'd get creative and do something different and use copper to do the rest of the barrel and the, some of the pipes coming off of the weapon and uh, thought well that's not too bad and then chose a bunch of oranges 
and uh, other colors to try and finish off the weapon. I used a bit of rough iron uh, on the covering of the wire and as it turned out it worked out to be exactly the same as Gravelord Grey over the copper which I did on the barrel so uh, I've worked out their recipe apparently but uh, I did that over most of it to try and get a sort of a general idea tried doing the neon glow heat coils and also uh, the body glow from inside of the panels of his chest plate and uh, sort of I started just putting a sort of a light orange and then progressively went darker in the colors all the way up to a pure red and that gave me a sort of a finish now I did try and absolutely butcher uh, the blade at the bottom of the barrel it looks crusty as and uh, wasn't quite getting blends very well and I could have used some paint stripper to start all over again but anyway this is what we ended up with and he didn't look too bad and just to do some final edge highlighting I used plate mail metal uh, on the uh, sort of the edges of the body parts and other exposed bits and around the actual uh, casing of the gun as well just to try and create some degree of variation uh, I also then uh, finished off the base by using some ready brown colors and grays just to provide a degree of variety across the base make it look a little bit more random and haphazard and the red seems to contrast and sort of play relatively well with the green color of the body so that didn't work out too horribly uh, in the end so I was quite happy with the end result so as for number two he doesn't look too bad uh, be a bit of a pain to actually uh, paint a whole army like this because I'm really slow at it but other than that still sort of happy with the end result and hopefully uh, this has been an enjoyable exercise in watching me struggle valiantly onwards with this hobby and try and make some inroads into it because I've got a few boxes of these guys to finish uh, so hopefully you might join me in the next one as we progressively move along and uh, it is a big learning curve so thanks for being persistent and sticking with me so we'll see you in the next one thank you